أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستغفره ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وشر لا إله إلا الله وشر لا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد الحمد لله رب العالمين الذين لا نعصى ولا نفس تبيه من المسلمين we say all praise is due to Allah for guiding us to the path of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran that if Allah wishes to guide somebody, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to guide you to the Salaam al Mustaqeen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to guide you to Islam, it is He who opens your heart to Islam. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that if Allah wishes to guide somebody, Allah wishes to guide somebody to the straight path, Allah wishes to guide somebody to the path of submission. Right? Less than the being a Muslim. It is he who opens their heart to Islam. So us becoming Muslim is by the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should always understand that Allah guided us to Islam. Allah opened our hearts to Islam. So Alhamdulillah wa rabbil alameen. In understanding this deed of Islam, we have to understand our aqeedah. We have to understand the foundations of this religion. We have to understand what is true, what is false. Some of us grew up non-Muslims, as myself. Some of us grew up in this Jahaliyyah. Some of us grew up in this dark Kufr, in this land of Kufr, with all of the ideologies and all of the ill norms that come with living in this society. One of the things that we were taught growing up, one of the things that was forced fed to us growing up was the concept of Darwin's theory. We had this concept of Darwin's theory that was thrown into our psyche, something that was forced fed us, something that was forced fed to us with regards to the Darwin's theory. What is the Darwin's theory? Darwin's theory is that mankind came out of tadpoles or monkeys. That there was tadpoles, there was frogs, they was in the water, they came out of the water, they started walking on the land, and then they turned into, you know, creatures, they turned into monkeys, and then the monkeys turn into human beings. This is Darwin's theory, right? This is the, uh, what they call it, evolution, whatever they call it, right? May I only be lying to your number team. As Muslims, do we believe in Darwin's theory? Do we believe that we came from monkeys or tadpoles? Did we come from monkeys, tadpoles, pigs, or anything like that? Did we? Yeah. No. As Muslims, we do not believe in Darwin's theory. We believe in the concept. We believe in revelation. We believe in the revelation that Allah Subhanahu wa told us that verily, O mankind, right, O Allah, Allah says, O mankind, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul. Allah says in chapter 4, verse 1, right, O mankind, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul. So Allah Subhanahu said that He created mankind from a single soul. And his soul was Adam alayhi salam. Before Adam alayhi salam, there were no human beings. Before Adam alayhi salam, right, we talked about Shaitan, we talked about the jinn. The jinn were in existence. Okay? That's another species. Ichtina, unseen from the naked eye, right? Shaitan, Iblis, Azazil, we talked about that, right? Today we're talking about mankind. Before Adam and Islam was created, there was no human beings in existence. Thus, Adam and Islam was the first human being created. Whether any giants or any other type of human beings or any type of, you know, species in existence before Adam and Islam and the jinn, no, not that we know of. Allah Quran tells us about the Malaika, about the angels, right, created out of Nur. Allah tells us about the jinn, created out of smoke and fire. And Allah Subhanahu wa tells us about mankind created out of what we're talking about today, Hama in Masnoon, a black clay. Mankind was made out of clay. Right? So before Adam alayhi salam, there were no human beings in creation. So the concept that there were any human beings before Adam alayhi salam, or, you know, there's secret books saying that there were any other human beings before Adam alayhi salam, we do not believe this as Muslims. That is blasphemy. That goes against our Akidah, our foundation, right? The tenets of Islam. Allah tells us that all of mankind, all of mankind is created from a single soul, and from that soul, right? From
for my soul can get met Adam and Eve. So God was saying that he created Adam and he created Eve, and from all of these two, from Adam and Eve, came all of mankind. So God was saying that very created, Allah found to create uh, all of mankind from a single soul, and from that soul created its mate, and from those two made all of the countless men and women. So from Adam and Eve came all of mankind. That is our belief system. That's why we say everybody's bad Adam. We are the children of Adam. We are the children of Eve. That's why everybody in existence, they have a similar chromosome, or similar genes. Goes back to that same gene. Goes back to that same mom. Goes back to that same daddy. Right? We have the similar genes and chromosomes and whatnot. Because we have the same mother and the same father, Adam and Eve. Okay? So, Muhammad and Ali, all created from a single soul and its mate, Adam and Eve. So, the concept, everybody was created from Adam and Eve. Everybody came from Adam and Eve. Doesn't matter whether you're black, brown, yellow, Chinese, African, Asian, Caucasian, everybody came from Adam and Eve. The concept of uh, another race created in another race, the, the Yakub's theory, and you know, the white man was created and all that, and the only thing that you should know is he. All colors come from Allah spoke Allah. Allah spoke Allah saying that very in the signs of Allah, He created different colors. Allah created the different colors. And all of the colors came from Adam and Eve. Right? How did all the colors come from Adam and Eve? Let's find out, inshallah. Allah spoke Allah tells the Quran that Allah created Adam and Salam from Hama in Masnoon. How about El Masnoon? Allah said he created Adam and Islam out of a black clay. So we're told that Adam and Islam was created of a black clay. We have another hadith where it says that the angels went to all the four corners of the earth, right? Created all different types of dirt and mud and put it all together, right? Muhammad Abu Nabi. But Allah specifically said that he created Adam and Islam out of Hama El Masnoon as Ibn Kathir, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Masnoon. Right, they said how many masnoon is a black clay, like a potter's clay that you could mold and shift. Right? So how many masnoon is a black clay, so therefore Adam al Islam was created out of a black clay. Also, the word Adam also means black. The word Adam in Arabic, not only is it an isu, not only is it a name, but it's also a sifat, which means a description. So the word Adam is also a description. So Adam is a name, and Allah will say that we Adam is Islam, how I get my snood from a black clay, and the word Adam is a sifat, it is a description, it means black. So Adam is the name of Adam, he was called Adam, he was made out of how I get my snood, a black clay, and the word Adam itself means black. How do we know? In describing Ali ibn al in describing Balaam ibn al in describing Musa alayhi in describing uh, Isa alayhi salam, they are described as what? Adam, Adam Shadid, Udama, Udama, Adam al Shadid, right? Described as dark black. Isa alayhi salam is described as Adam. Musa is described as Adam, right? Ali the Lahan is described as Adam. Balal the Lahan is described as Adam. Abu Dhar is described as Adam. This is the description. Yes, it is the name of the first person created, Adam al but it's also a sifat, which is a description. So he was named Adam, made out of Adam, and he looked at Adam. So Adam alayhi salam, Adam was black. So we say that Adam alayhi salam was black, made out of black clay, right? How about my school? And the word Adam means black. Then how did all of the colors come from black? How did all of the other colors, the ancients, the Caucasians, and all this come from black? If we go to biology, and this is something that I learned in the 10th grade, and this is something that is a known knowledge. Those who go to high school, they take biology, 
When you take biology, you learn about you learn about dominant and recessive genes. Dominant and recessive genes, right? And I learned this in the tenth grade. Dominant colors and recessive colors, right? We learned that black is a dominant color. Anything less than black is called recessive. Dominant recessive. You can have a dominant color, and you can bring about recessive colors. But you cannot take recessive colors and bring about a dominant color. So understand the reality. This is biology, scientific fact. So dominant recessive genes. So if we have black, and you mix it and dilute it with other things, you come about all the other colors. So all the other colors come from black. Black was the origin. Why do I say so? I don't say so. Allah's not going to say so. Allah was say that Alvin is alive for the first person created. What he created of How am I getting my spoon? What is how am I getting my spoon? It is a black clay. Right? What does the word Alvin mean? It means black. So we say that Alvin is alive and Eve are black. Then all the colors come from this. Dominant and recessive genes. Right? All colors come from black. This is a fact. Okay? Remember the Hadith of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Muhammad? When Ibn Abbas, we have a Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, son of son, a narration of Ibn Abbas, when he said that when Noah came out of the ark, he had his three sons, Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, right? And from them came different colors. From the lineage of Ham came the blacks, from the lineage of Shem came the blacks, from the lineage of Jephthah came those that were lighter skinned. Okay? This is a reality. This show I will go into more depth about that. But today we're talking about Adam alayhi salam. The first human being created, right? And from Adam alayhi salam, Allah being Eve took the rib, right? And from these two, Adam and Eve, right? They were the mother and the father of all the creation. So we say, Adam is my father. Eve is my mother. That goes for anybody. Doesn't matter if they're Asian, Caucasian, any other type of persuasion, Adam and Eve are the mother and the father of all the creation. This is our belief. We do not believe in Darwin's theory. We don't believe in the tadpoles. We don't believe in the monkeys. So when Allah started creating Adam and Salam, and we're told that he made him out of a black clay, we're told in the top seer that when Allah fashioned Adam and Salam, he made him into a shell. But before he blew into him his rope, before he broke into him his spirit, right, or his soul, right, we told him at Tafsir that he was a shell for 40 years. So for 40 years, right, Adam Salam didn't have any soul. He was just still, he was a shell. Right, for 40 years, he had a shell. And we're told that Iblis or Shaitan, so, we're told that Iblis, that Shaitan, that when Adam and Salam, that when he was a shell for these 40 years, right, that the devil went inside his nostril, went inside his whole cavity to look at the makeup of Adam and Salam. He wanted to understand, he wanted to understand what is the makeup of Adam and Salam. What is his new creation? Right? Because remember before there was no human beings. Only shaped all of the jinn they were in existence. So when Allah made it out of Islam, he made the shell 40 years, right? Shaped all went to the nostril to find out the makeup of the Adam and Islam. We're also told in the tafsir, we're also told in the hadith, that Adam and Islam was 90 feet tall. Adam and Islam was 90 feet tall. The first person created. Right? Adam is alive. How am I getting my spoon? We're told he was black. Right? Keep your hair. We're told that he was 90 feet tall. 90 feet tall? How can he be 90 feet tall? Man, that sounds, you know, unimaginable. This is what the Prophet Muhammad told us. The Prophet Muhammad said in the Hadith, he said that those that make it to the jungle, those that make it to paradise, you will be as handsome as Yusuf alayhi salam. Right, we're talking about the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. He's the most handsome of the prophets. He's the most handsome of human beings. So we're talking about those that make it to the Jannah, they will be as handsome as Yusuf alayhi salam. 
They will be at the age of 33. Everybody will be in their prime, the age of 33 in the jungle. So we'll be the age of 33 in our prime, as handsome as Yusuf and Salam, and as tall as Adam and Salam, 90 feet tall. So this is our belief system. Adam and Salam, first human being. Adam and Salam made out of Hama ibn Masnoon, black planet. Eve was created out of Adam and Salam, right? From that rib. From these two, all of mankind came. When Allah was created Adam and Salam, he was a shell for 40 years. Shaitan went inside his nostrils, everything, right? Adam and Salam was 90 feet tall. Understand this, this is part of our belief system. This is part of our kingdom. So I asked him later on, Jenny I asked him how tall was Adam. You're going to say, How tall was Adam? 90 feet tall. You did good. Focus up. So this is all part of our Akita. And again, we go better, we're going to do better. And again, what? Save yourself and save your family from the fire who's food is made of stones. It's our responsibility to give this knowledge. So also we're told that with the voice of Adam and Islam, because we're learning about Adam and Islam. Allah Allah tells us in this story can be found in chapter 2, verses 30 through 39. Chapter 2, verse 30 to 39. We're told that with the words of Adam alayhi salam, Allah taught Adam alayhi salam the names of all things. Everything in existence, Allah subhanahu taught Adam the name of that thing. So Allah taught Adam that this is called the pen. This is called the paper. This is called the table. Right? This is the moon. This is the sun. These are the clouds. These are the birds. Right? Adam and Islam was taught the names of all things. Even the angels didn't know the names of these things. And again, the story can be found in chapter 2, verse 30 through 39. Right? So Allah was said that he taught Adam the names of all things. Even the angels didn't know the, the names of certain things. Right? Allah said to Quran, and remember Allah Quran asked the angels, tell me the names of these things. And the angel said, we only know what it is that you teach us. We only know what it is that you give us knowledge of. Right? Then he said, oh Adam, tell them the names of these things. So then when Adam told them the names of these things, he said, did I not tell you that I know what it is that you know not? I am Al-Ali. All knowledge comes from me. Right? Muhammad Allah, Muhammad Allah, Muhammad Then we're told the cause of Adam, alayhi salam, we have a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when the Prophet Sallallahu said, Adam alayhi salam was created on a Friday. Adam alayhi salam was entered into the Jannah, went to paradise on Friday, and he was kicked out of paradise on Friday. So this concept that Adam wasn't in paradise, he was somewhere on earth, when I stuck for love. The amount of time that they spent in the Jannah was only the time of Asu. So the time that Adam alayhi salam and Eve, they were entered into the Jannah, and they were manipulated, deceived by Shaitan, was only the amount of time of Asr. That's how quick Shaitan moved. That's how quick Shaitan moved. Even though Allah SWT talked to Adam alayhi salam, even though Allah SWT talked to Eve, told them don't go near this tree, they still was deceived by Shaitan. Right? So let's stay in the reality. Adam and Eve, they talked to God himself. They was able to eat from all of the fruits of the jugger, right? Any way that they like, but yet they still were deceived by Shaitan. Right? So what about us? How can we get deceived? How can we make mistakes? When Adam and Eve, they spoke to God himself. They were in the jugger. They were eating from the fruits. Right? Blessed. But yet they still were deceived by Shaitan. So we can be deceived by Shaitan as well. I hope you love you, Shaitan Rajin. Then when they were kicked out of paradise, Allah said, and those who fall upon who die. Right? Allah sent down Adam, right? Allah kicked Adam alayhi salam out of the paradise. And we understand that Adam alayhi salam was forgiven of his sin. We're told that Adam alayhi salam and Eve, they made dua to Allah. Oh Allah, forgive us of our sins. We have wronged ourselves. And it said that Allah Allah accepted their tawbah. So even with the going from Adam and Eve and the mistake that they made from eating from that tree, Allah tells us that they were forgiven. Allah forgave them of that. So we believe that. They made a mistake and Allah forgave them. 
Then Allah subhanahu wa kicked him out of the Jannah, and he said, you will go down to the earth for a certain amount of time. While you live, you will die, you will be raised back up. And I will send down my huda. I will send down my guidance, and those who follow my guidance, they will be saved. Right? Those who follow my guidance, they will be saved. But those who follow Shaitan, they will be in the hellfire with Shaitan. So this is Adam a.s. the first human being, the first prophet. Adam a.s. Right? So this is just a little bit of Akita with a little bit of understanding with regards to our belief system with regards to Adam a.s. Allah was saying, O oh mankind, fear your Lord. Right? That fear of your Lord, right, who brings you from a single soul. That single soul was Adam a.s. And from that soul created its mate, created Eve. And from these two came all of mankind. So all of mankind, black, black, brown, yellow, it don't matter. Everybody is the son and the daughters of Adam and Islam and Eve. Adam and Eve are the mother and father of all creation. Then Allah said, what? Well, he created Adam and Islam, and Hama in Masnoon. Created Adam and Islam from a black clay. We're told in the top here, this is a black clay, right? A sticky black clay that can be fashioned. Then we're told, right, with regards to him being made black, all colors come from black. This is a biological, scientific fact, dominant, we sense of genes. So yes, all colors come from black. So white comes from black, red comes from black, brown comes from black, any other color less than black comes from black. All colors come from black. This is a biological fact, scientific fact. So Abel is alive being black, Eve being black, they being the first uh, human beings and all other human beings come from them. It is proven scientifically, right? Documented. Allah says so. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We're told that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Abba Salam, he was made into a shell for 40 years. 40 years into a shell, right? He believed Shaitan was going into his whole cavity trying to find out his maker. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blew the roof, right? We're told that Adam al Salam was 90 feet tall. Adam al Salam was 90 feet tall. We talked about the Hadith. When Rasulullah said, those that make it to the Jannah, right? You'll be as handsome as Yusuf al Salam. You'll be the age of 33, right? And you'll be as tall as Adam al Salam, 90 feet tall. We're also told that Adam al Salam was tough, the names of all things. How do we know that blue is blue? How do we know that green is green? How do we know that the table is a table? How do we know that the pen is a pen? Because Allah taught Adam and Islam the names of all things. And Adam and Islam taught this to his wife, taught this to his children, right? And it was passed down, right? Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. We're told that Adam and Islam, he was entered into the Jannah on a Friday, created on a Friday, kicked out of paradise on a Friday. Also, the Prophet Muhammad saw some sin. The day of judgment will be on a Friday. Yom Kiyama, the day of judgment will be on a Friday. Right? So that's why Friday is very important. Friday is special. Humble number of not me. The amount of time that Adam and Islam was in the Jannah, the time of Asr, right? Sit down to, uh, to the earth, right? We said that you'll be raised back up. Then Allah said, I will send down my I will send down the guidance, I will send down the, guides, I will send down the prophets. Those who follow the prophets, they'll be saved. They will not have any fear, nor will they grieve. But those who follow Shaitan, they'll be in the hell of with Shaitan. Right? So I hope you deny the of Jinn. May we believe in this understanding of Adam and Salam. We do not believe in Darwin's theory. We don't believe in the tadpoles or the monkeys. We believe in what Allah subhanahu wa tells us. Alhamdulillah, what I mean. Okay, so this is just a little glimpse, a little reality, a little bit of information, a little bit of knowledge with regards to Adam and Salam. May we inculcate this into our psyche. May we inculcate this into our heart and remove the stinking thinking and remove the false teachings that was taught to us, inshallah. Any questions on this?